Hi, welcome. It's Klein Alley Show from K-Rock. How goes it? Woo! Let's try that again. Who's ready for the 1975? Is everyone full of delicious pizza from Joe's Pizza? How's the pizza? Uh, yes. I Thank you uh, for being here today. Thank you for supporting K-Rock. we got a really special thing planned, probably the most fun you can legally have on a Monday right around noon. Here's what's going to happen. going to bring out a band that you've probably heard of before. Going to have a little chat with uh, Maddie, and then they're going to play some songs for you. I saw the set list. You will be very happy. Please welcome the 1975. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome. Hey, once again, the 1975. Let them hear this. Hello. We're here. <clears throat> Let's just keep on coming. You got your stool there, Russ. You sit wherever you like, sir. Does Han need one? All right. Hey, Maddie. Hi. How goes it? Yeah, we're good. Thanks. How are you? You know, it's funny to think uh, this started 20 years ago uh, in school with just some of your mates, and now yeah. here you are, once again, playing in front of uh, 50 people. 20 years later. <laughs> Yeah, 20 years. It's crazy, isn't it? We go back longer than 20 years, me and Jamie. Um, yeah. Um, you guys obviously are right in the middle of a great tour, a tour that's been making headlines at their very best is the tour, and that is what I've been hearing the entire time, is that this band really is at their very best right now. What do you think is in the secret sauce? Why do you think you're getting that headline now? Um... I, um it's kind of like our life's work, this show, really, I suppose, without trying to be too lofty. Like, we've really, um, we've had, you know, we've been, like we said, you know, we've been a band for that long, and then we've been around for, like, nearly 10 years. And I think that we can now kind of retrospectively think about what, like, the 1975 is, you know, like in its most fundamental thing. And I think we wanted to just, like, make a show that was half gig, half, like, show, you know, um, with play or whatever, you know. So, thank you. It's also nicely un it's a a unpredictable of, at this point. Plays. Yeah, the fans here, because, you know, you're getting so many headlines for things that are happening at the shows unrelated to the actual songs. Uh, you're making out with people from the audience, which yeah. could happen at some point today, who knows? Uh, you're eating, eating raw happen. steak on stage. You're, yeah. How much of this is coming to you in the moment? How much of this is you guys going, like, let's do some weird shit? A lot of it is, a, is us going, let's do some weird shit. <laughs> it's a show that feels pretty loose, but it's actually very, very tight. It's very, very well rehearsed. And I've got to give credit to these guys because they've, you know, there's moments of it where it requires a lot of us to, to do a lot. And, you know, it, it's, it's taken us a while to get it right. But, um, yeah, it's, it's um, I don't know. I think we just want to do something interesting because, you know, like, I've seen so many gigs... You know, like, and so many like bands and guys with guitars and girls, um, and uh, and I think that we, yeah, we, we just wanted to do something that kind of blurred the lines between what is real and what kind of isn't. You know. So, um, as Klein mentioned, you've kissed women on stage, you've kissed men on stage, you've been threatened with arrest over doing that. <laughs> um, what are I just banned. I got banned from a country for doing that. I, I think that's a sense of accomplishment to get banned from a place. But what are some things that uh, maybe people at future shows can do to stand out and make them more kissable to uh, you? Maybe not, it's, it's, it's not going to be a part of the show. I think that <laughs> like, I've, I've um, as the show's been happening, I've almost been caught up in this kind of quite recent retro nostalgia for like 2014, 15. You know, everyone seems to be having this, whether it's Taylor, Taylor or us or Arctic Monkeys or anything like that. So I, I and I remember that like it was yesterday, you know. So it feels like the meta references are very, very easily accomplished in the moment. But I, what I do do not want to do is set any kind of precedent where everyone just thinks that I'm going to make out with them. <laughs> well, that's what that's we all think. So who's happen. it's going to be? Is it going to be yeah. me or is it going to be him? Everyone's just funneling Listerine in the parking lot of your shows, <laughs> getting ready. Uh, you mentioned Taylor. It's interesting because the album, which came out, by the way, in October, the fifth album, uh, how many of you guys got it? Yeah. Being funny in a foreign language. Uh, I was thinking, you know, one of the cushy gigs I would get here at K-Rock is I'd get to listen to stuff in advance. I did not get that album in advance. You did, however, give it to a few people that I find interesting. You gave it to some comedians to listen to because you actually care about being funny with your lyrics, which I appreciate. 
and you said that uh, Bo, I think it was Bo Burnham, laughed yeah. at all the right times. Mm-hmm. But then you also gave it to Taylor Swift early. She got an early listen. She heard bits of it like uh, from through Jack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did she return the favor with her latest release and let you listen to it before the general public? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We um, we we actually worked a bit on that, but then the version of it never came out. Oh, boo! No, 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 no. That's not how it works. It was for for reasons that are not to be criticized. She's amazing. Were you able to get tickets to her concert? No. I haven't tried yet. Well, you know, Klein mentions your lyrics and um, of the songs that you've come out with over the years, you have some of the most misheard lyrics of all time. Uh, probably, yeah. And so I have just some of the misheard lyrics and I wondered if you could pair it with the right <laughs> lyrics. You can either say it or you can sing it, whatever you choose. All right. All right. I like sex with sandals and chicks like scented candles. Is that what people think it is? Yep. <laughs> I like sex with candles. I, I like sex with sandals. That's just as good. <laughs> <laughs> We've just worked on the sixth album. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy for that to be a lyric. Uh, all right, here's the next one. Dough is what you need because you're 70 and they're just scones, just scones. Oh, wow. <laughs> just scones. Oh, yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, you ate my ass, but I don't mind it. Yeah, I, I've actually heard that. We've yeah. done that. We've done that as a bit. Yeah. You as should a, hear what goes on in our earphones. Oh, during the shows. Yeah, because their microphones, like, if they press a button, it doesn't go out the front, but it goes into our ears. Not good. Is that the goal, to try to make him break during the shows? Uh, he, is, is that the goal? It, the rule is you can't do it whilst he's singing, but in the gaps, anything goes. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right, that's great. And it makes it hard. <laughs> I need the challenge. Well, look, we would love to hog all of the time for ourselves, but we always open this up for questions from people that are here. We've got a lot of them that we've pre-screened, so these are all legitimate questions from your actual fans. Oh, okay. And then you're going to play some songs, so here we, here, what do we got? Before we get to them, I just had a personal one. Um, Matt, uh, Metallica, not a fan. You've made it that clear. Oh, God. I didn't. Are you, are you done talking about this? No, I'm not. I haven't even talked about it. It was like five hours into an interview with like a guy <laughs> that I kind of regarded as a friend, and I was just saying like, that I didn't fuck with Metallica. That's all I was saying. <laughs> I didn't say that there's no objective worst band in the world. And I don't want to be mean. Like, okay, they're probably okay. nice. But I, I'm fascinated with Metallica. Some kind so of then my monster. question was, do you want to collab with them at some no. point? No. <laughs> but, but some kind of monster is like, is one of the, gr- it's, it's one of the great American stories the 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 the, the, what what unfolds throughout that movie is like one of the greatest stories just about like america they're they're fascinating yeah um all right so this one is from oh ironically taylor from the 818 on every album you have a song called the 1975 when it shows up on the set list how do you know which one to play (laughs) it's a great question (laughs) that's a funny question we don't, um, yeah, we just call it, we just guess. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> You're just always right somehow. We could be good if we all started the wrong one. <laughs> that would be amazing. Like, dun, dun, go, dun. Um, all right, this one comes from uh, Juan in the 2 and 3 area code. Who will win the World Cup? D- um, no, Argentina just got beaten by Saudi Arabia. Wait a second, no, I don't care about anybody's national heritage. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, Germany, France, France, France or Brazil. Mm. <laughs> I right. predicted it right in. I predicted it right in the in the two thousand. Yeah, two thousand sixteen. Yeah, That's I predicted Germany. Asking. You're better than that octopus. Yeah, <laughs> you're picking it. Yeah. Uh, all right, you have to kiss one of the following people on stage at your next show. Who do you pick? An old woman with halitosis, a dog who just ate puke off of Hollywood Bully, uh, Boulevard, or George, your drummer. Oh, George. <laughs> That's Come a mean on. question. Who asked that question? Get the hell out of here. Fuck, <laughs> 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 George. Kiss George. He's way nicer than Puke Off Sidewalk. We're all going to kiss George after the show today, right? Yeah, uh, form a line. 
Uh, this is exciting. I know some people are going to get to see you as part of this tour, and thank you so much. You know, we got a chance to chat briefly backstage, and you said you wanted to do something very special for the people that are here today, the people that will be listening to this. A very intimate performance. You don't do these very often. You, you didn't want to just pop up in some festival where you're one of a million bands. You wanted to uh, really give these people an experience that they'll always remember. So thank you from K-Rock for doing this. Oh, thank you right. on behalf of all these people here for doing yeah. this. It's too loud. It's uh, too loud in here. Otherwise, so yeah. we wanted to do something quiet. <laughs> so you have to be quiet. Are you guys ready for some songs? Yeah. Okay. All right, Maddie, it's yours uh, once All again. Right. The 1975. Thank you. Makes 
and lie down And the only time I feel it might get better Is when we are together Sucks with sandals She's more into scented candles <laughs> I never get that smell out of my bag That's funny It was poorly handled The day we both got cancelled Because I'm a racist and you're some kind of slack And you ask about the cows wearing my sweater there's something about the weather that makes them lie down And the only time I feel it might get better Is when we are together I thought we were fighting But it seems I was gaslighting you I didn't know that it had it somewhere You still ask about the cows wearing my sweater It's something about the weather That makes them lie down Wearing my sweater It's something about the weather That makes them lie down And the only time I feel I might get better Is when we are together For me, cause baby, I'll do anything that you wanna. I'll try anything that you wanna. I try, cause you're on my mind.
One more time for the 1975, please. 